Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today we're blasting Ohio State regurgitation tales of necrophilia because it's fucking brutal and I felt like listening to it. 1999 brutality from Ohio. Oh, man. I know the tape sold out. I think there's still copies of the LP. This sounds great on wax. I just wanted to go over, in my opinion, what are so far some of the nastiest demos and EPs of 2020. So I figured why not throw on a bona fide classic, Regurgitation, Tales of Necrophilia, Hell's Headbangers. And there's some sick Hell's Headbangers reissues on cassette that are in the mail as we speak. But we'll start things off with a banger and a more popular death metal band at the moment. Cerebral Rot spewing purulence, parasitic records, fucking murky filth from the Pacific Northwest. This is some of their best material so far in their short career. It's kind of a little bit more, it reminds me a little bit more of Cessation of Life than Odious Descent of Decay, but it's just full of riffs, great vocals, and the production's really fucking organically killer. Enjoyable stuff from the Pacific Northwest. And just look at that fucking artwork. I can't wait for the seven inch of this. Next up, from Romania, Larva. And this is the four track promo tape 2020. So sick. This is a USA version on SBH. Just to avoid the, you know, the fuck's it called? Pronunciation Police. Cannibal Ferox, but this is fucking great. Recorded by Disgusting Dennis, who also fucking plays bass and drums. And you have Lasilla Circadia on vocals and guitar. Larva is awesome. Very, very enjoyable and fucking nasty. Like, Doom to Exist, fucking, that's to me the main fucking selling point of this promo right here. But don't get me wrong, every track on here is badass, but that one specifically just has this vibe to it that's fucking on point. It's, it's like, kind of like what the doctor ordered. As soon as you hear it, it's like, yo, that's fucking badass. And then this, this next, holy shit, this next demo, I had no idea about this Norwegian death metal band, and they have some outside doomy influences and some blackened influences. It's kind of all over the place in that aspect, but Danskavad Kronik 1 on Caligari. This is still my favorite release Caligari has released in 2020 and Caligari has been releasing hammers just straight up banger shit but Dodskavard oh man this is three tracks of just crushing heavy doomed out Norwegian death metal it's fucking great seriously the heavy duty J card alone. Just look at that artwork. Like at first I figured it was gonna be some straight up like traditional doom, and then when I listened to it, I was like, like it felt like somebody clocked me. I was like, whoa, this is awesome. And I haven't heard a seriously, I'm not even fucking joking. I have not heard a single soul talk about this. I know some of you watch other people's, you know, music reviews, and you should. I, I just, I honestly, I only watch Mike the Horror Geek. Like, I'm not joking. Like, <laughs> I just, I, I want my own opinion. The only outside influence I really get from Decibel, and Decibel, 
Like, I, I, I'm not really gonna probably fuck with this, you know? Like, and I would love to fuck with the new Napalm Death, though. Like, this is something I would really love to go over and discuss, like, the history of Napalm Death from Scum to their new record. But when it comes to demos in 2020 or EPs, whatever you want to call it, Chronic One by Dodskavad on Caligari. This right here is kind of pretty close to the head of the bunch. Like, it's everything I want from a band. And even though they're still in demo form, they know what the fuck they're doing. And speaking of knowing what the fuck you're doing, I feel like this band, as popular as they are, are still underrated Texan death metal giants and when I say giants I mean they know how to fucking write death metal it's just I feel like for some reason like they go over certain people's heads or like even though they're on maggot stomp like maybe they're not cool enough for some people I don't know what the fuck but I do know the new church of disgust material is fucking awesome Consumed by slow putrefaction. I should have grabbed 200 stab wounds, but that's more brutal than it is filthy. This is filthy sounding, and I've been looking forward to this since their split with Cemetery Filth, and it did not disappoint. Like, as soon as you hear it, like, drowned in eldritch slime, you're like, Texas death metal's cool. Like, Fucking A, man. That's why Goat Throne Records is badass, too. Like, they're from Texas. They're fucking sick, man. Hails to Aaron. Just sick guy. Seriously. But also, hails to Dustin from Church of Disgust. Really awesome dude. Hopefully, when the world goes back to normal, they can tour and you could say hello. Because he's a sick guy. And here's another band. Pennsylvania death metal if a cursed womb gets to play shows in the future I want to play with ritual mass really fucking bad abhorred in the eyes of God this is another Caligari banger it was really hard I, like I only really wanted to try and do one release from each label but it was kind of impossible but Caligari has put out so much good stuff this year and this is definitely one of their best, especially when it comes to death metal. This is straight to the point, 11 minutes of just nasty fucking Pennsylvania death metal. It is totally, it has that East Coast vibe to it, fucking Steel City death metal. It's awesome. Like, seriously, Virtual Mass are one of those bands that instantly, like, the first time I heard them, I was like, fuck yeah, like, I can't wait to hear more from these guys, and Abhorred in the Eyes of God did not disappoint. This is a filthy little fucker. 11 minutes of just nasty, evil death metal. Like, what more can you want? Oh yeah, Gravesend Preparations for Human Disposal Demo. Oh, it's fucking one of the most hateful sounding things you're ever going to hear. Oh my god, the part where like you hear rats actually scurrying, it's like, ugh, this is so good. Like, from Rikers to the Grave. If you don't know fucking New York City and you are like, what's Verrazano Floater? It's a Verrazano Bridge. It's talking about a fucking dead body. It's brutal. But this is fucking absolute warfare. And it's more on the death metal side of things. But I guess you can call this bestial black death metal because it's... Definitely not straight up death metal. It's some nasty fucking shit though. And Brad Boatwright mastered this bad boy. And yeah, it's fucking like vomit inducing. Punch your neighbor in the fucking skull. Like eat some light tube fucking tunes. One of my favorite demos of 2020. 
And you gotta, this had to be on this little list. Phantasmagore Abominations. This is the American head split version. Like, come on. This is fire. And you have a fucking Necrophagia cover of Blood Freak, so. You get two original tracks that legit have you begging for more. Like, I am a true believer in this band. I have a feeling, like, I don't know. Every, like, I really wish this band was an American death metal band for one reason. And that's, I feel like they would have a lot more opportunities. Like, don't get me wrong, like, being on Head Split's fucking amazing, and this band has international appeal. Like, I could see them playing Kill Town Death Fest next time shit, you know, happens. But if this band was from America, I can just imagine them opening for, like, pretty much any gnarly death metal band in the game. And how am I going off two songs and saying that? Their Necrophagia cover is probably one of the highlights of this, but don't get me wrong, their original material is fucking awesome, but just, it's a great cover of Blood Freak, and it just is a killer release. I honestly forget what country these bad boys are from, and I should know because I really fucking love this shit. For some reason, I want to say Chile, but... I'm not a hundred fucking percent sure, and I apologize, guys. I should know that, like, seriously. Like, because I'm a big fucking fan, and I definitely should know, but I don't off the top of my head. But rest in peace, Killjoy. And Killjoy is eternal, do not forget. If you don't know Killjoy, and you don't know Necrophagia, Seasons of the Dead, what are you doing? And lastly, there's plenty more, but like, right now, again, I'm, I don't have a way to charge my phone at the moment. So, this is just a little teaser of bands I think you personally should check out if you like your death metal completely vomit-inducing. And that is Crypt Worm Reeking Gunk of Abhorrence. It's like Undergang Jr., if you can't stand waiting for the new Wonder Gang release, then hey, get the next best thing seriously. Crypt Worm, hailing from the UK. They kinda changed up their style in my opinion, and I am fucking glad they did. Like, no offense, this shit's sick, but this is next level death metal, guys. Seriously, like, I'm not just fucking around. And you know what else needs to be in here? Just because it's fucking a little bit different. Oh, man, I forgot Anthropophagus as well. Don't forget that. That's a badass one. But I'm counting splits, and I know this is sold out, but Ruin and Absconder on Goat Throne Records, like... Definitely one of the heaviest fucking slabs of death metal I've heard all year, and it's fucking disgusting. I love this shit. From the serial killer looking artwork, to the riffs, to the vocals. Like, if you've ever heard Absconder, you know Brad's vocals are fucking disgusting, and I love them. And Mike from fucking Ruin, Mike is just... He's a sick guy. And Ruin's a fucking sick band. And just look at these... These cosmetics are gorgeous. Like... Either of you guys want to do a split? We should do a three-way split. Seriously. We should reissue this. But then have the Accursed Womb promo on one side. I'm, I'm in. But yeah, Ruin and Absconder. And then there is this odd one out of the bunch. Torture Tomb. Killing to see how it feels. This legit is hardcore, but with death metal elements. 
or you can go the other way around. It's death metal with straight up real hardcore elements. Not deathcore, not slam. I'm talking it's death metal with hardcore parts. And it fucking works. Transylvania tapes. It's nasty sounding too. It's kind of like Sanga Sugarbog. It's like their little brother. It even has the fucking little monster guy. But it's fucking great. Like, I really find this enjoyable. I think Cody even mastered it at Fix My Face Records. And he does drums for, uh... Yeah, Cody Davidson. He does drums for Sanga Sugarbog. So it has that sound. And again, if you can't wait for the full length, why not get in the torture tomb in the meanwhile? Because these Texans... Again, like, Texan death metal is fucking awesome. And, yeah. We were blasting Regurgitation, Tales of Necrophilia, because I wanted to go over some vomit-inducing demos and EPs that I personally love so far in 2020. There's a lot more, but like I said, I don't have a way to charge my fucking phone. So, hopefully I can borrow a charger tomorrow. Sorry, I've fucking been down the trails all day. I got stung by a mud wasp. Dude, I got like an egg on my fucking arm. It, the swelling went down, but holy shit, did that fucking hurt. It still hurts, too. Like, that's why I put long sleeves on. Like, so I don't fucking touch it, you know? But, Ohio's regurgitation, tales of necrophilia. It's fucking, oh my goodness, brutal, heavy, death fucking metal. And as always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. If I can't answer any comments, I apologize. But that's life. That's what they say. Schnell's gonna go away. But come back, I guess, today. Or tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow. I'll come back tomorrow. We'll talk about death metal all day. That was stupid. And then I went to press stop on the record button. But I was pulled back. But then I said this must end. And I will come back. If you didn't know who that was, that was my King Diamond impersonation. So thanks for watching! For Satan.